Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So, um, <laughs> we have not played in a while, uh, and so because we have not played in a while, I actually do not have all of the settings back, uh, the controls and such. <laughs> so yeah, um, I don't even know what the hell we're doing, boys. It's just been so long we were playing other games, and then we were like, well, you know what? We gotta come back. We gotta come back to this. So, what exactly are we doing? Well, let's go ahead and check out the old progress bar. Uh, or not. <laughs> we can check out the map. So. Looks like we gotta go over to Mr. John. So let's make our way over to John and we'll uh we'll do that. Eesh. Keep I keep messing up the controls. Go ahead and brush him. Hector, it's been a while my boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? You are- Oh, I just punched- I just punched my own horse because I don't know my control- <laughs> Okay, it's okay. Look at me, I'm covered in dirt. I'm sorry that I punched you in the butt, Hector. Nothing personal. I'm just trying to learn how to get back on you. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. There we go, triangle. Oh, God, it's like I'm learning all over again. Anyways. Nope, yep, you're on your own, buddy. What's your problem? There he is, my boy. We got some talking to do. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon. It'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Yeah, I was Dutch worried too. We... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was surprised pony once. Now I'm the workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well... You was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Hmm. It'll be over soon. Yes. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. All right, what are you going to get us? There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Hello? Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Mm -hmm. Look, Hector, maybe you'll get a girlfriend right here. Unless it's a girl or it's a guy, I mean. I guess we need to find out. Hi, what are we working with? Nope, you, uh, you definitely do not... Have a girlfriend here. I'm sorry, Hector. 
All right, so where are we going? Gun store. Yep. Can you uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Well, oh, whatever. Don't you wear yourself out now. Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. All right, let's browse the catalog. Let's see. He wants a rifle. Oh. Hmm. Uh, wow, express high velocity. Well, we got a lot of money. I forgot how much money we had. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's this one? I already had it owned. Well, where is he? He's over this way. Good. Sure. Let's go. This time I won't punch Hector. And I read Hector. <laughs> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. <laughs> no, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Mm. Ain't you got one of your own? Whoa. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl. What was her name? Mary? Uh-oh. That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know hmm. that place. So what do they want us to do? I guess we're gonna take all the sheep. I, 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 we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, um, how these sheep are looking right now. Speed it up, buddy. Come on. Beat it up. We're trying to make him on Hector. You can beat him. You can beat him in a foot race. Go Hector. Go Hector family. Go. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. I wonder why he wants a sniper rifle. So you can see from a distance. I got a really high bounty. That's the only thing I remember really from the last playthrough is that I still have a very high bounty on me that I could honestly pay right now. I didn't realize I had so much money. will make it to auction, all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself? Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. All right, let's take a look. I keep doing that. Got to get used to gun to X being to run. Okay, I think that's them over there. There's three of them. Now, put a shot in near them. 
I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. One of them ran, two of them stayed. Nope. Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. There he goes. All right, let's go round him up. And I did it again. Come on, let's go, bro. Hector. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, or there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. There's still the, one of the guys is still there. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Let's look at these over here. Come on. All right, I think we got them all. Let's head for town. You know what? Marston, mm -hmm. why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. I'll move it up. You got some dawdlers, Arthur. Christ, you're annoying. Come on, let's go. Now you got it. Quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. <laughs> Whoa. You gotta keep a good pace behind them. Yep. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. Good boys. Keep going. Cut inside, boys. Cut inside. <laughs> I like how the sheep are just like, okay, whatever. New owner. Stragglers here. Go, go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Hip. Hip. Those are up, boys. There you go. <laughs> Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> a lot less. <laughs> I'm, trying to say. I'm trying to say, you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Look at this guy. Here. Excuse me? Sure, I'll excuse you for 
Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying. But we're paying. Go on now. <laughs> Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. That's Judge funny. Waiting for us at the saloon. He is. I didn't see nothing about nobody. Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. <laughs> well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids <laughs> no more. No, we never really was. Where can oh, we go? We can hitch our horses right here. Let's go. They got some hot food. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. <laughs> I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. <laughs> to your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Uh oh. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning a yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. Why not? You <laughs> me? Vandalin, you're done. Here we go. Get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man? For the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah. Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch. The only press hard to fill the meter the more. He may be. I am Archibald. Hey, -o. Yo, he gone. Shoot them now. Hey, -o. got one more. One behind the target. Don't be stupid. There's two. Hey, -o. oh. There you go. Who's left? Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, look at me, me mugging him. Where the hell is he? Oh, there he is. Get your ass over here, bro. You're taking me. You're taking too long. Run. Let's get this out of here. Run. John's horse and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> hey yo. Alright. I better get out of here. Hell. Dead or alive. Bruh. You know what? I'm, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Let's get out of here, Hector. Run, Hector, run! I was gonna take, but that's too many. That's too many cops right there. They're starting to pack up too. They're chasing after us. We fought the law and the law won. Great job, Hector. All right, I think we're good. the map and we're gonna go the old camp ground I think what's this right here nope Tch. 
Okay. I don't know where we're supposed to go, but whatever. So let's just keep going, I guess. There we go. Good job, Hector. All right. Okay, let's check the map. And what's this right here? Dutch. Let's go ahead and meet up with Dutch. Air ready. It'll take us to where Dutch is. Take us to Dutch. That's what we do. We're singing. We're singing. That's right. What's going on here? Throw some punches. All right. Well, out there. So, we keep heading east. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? Well, that'd be nice. Join the commune. We stop when we find someplace sensible. Shake them that's following us and lie low. This is lying low? We turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. So, we moving? Yeah. Mm. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. <laughs> you told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Yep. Oh, uh, where the hell was mine? I kind of want to shower up and uh, start looking a little better. Mm. I don't think it's here. Where the hell is my damn car? Oh, you know what? I think it might be. No, nope. I don't think it's going to let me do anything. Whatever. Let's go. So. Are we right in there? All right, we're looking good, boys. Let's go. Let's check the map. Let's go ahead and place a marker on it. Oh, wow, we got to go pretty far. <laughs> okay. Let's get it, brother. All right. So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. And fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. 
area called Dewberry Creek. The hell, bro? It didn't follow the path we're supposed to go on. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. Want a bit of a further look. Hold up. Let's go. Yes, sir. Here we go on an adventure. The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as rough. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem. Eventually, it went away. I mean, this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters. I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah. They've certainly hmm. got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one, which guarantees even more trouble. Wanted to make sure we're on the right path. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey, I see something over there. You see it? Someone on the ground there. Whoa. What's going on over here? He's been shot. Looks like trouble got here before us. Hmm. Mm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first, debate second. I'm not gonna shoot for the sake of it. Survival's for the sake of it. Quit talking. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us come. Be careful. I'm being careful. Hmm. Any other canned food we can take? Hello? Hello? Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. Underneath the thing? Underneath it, right? It's okay. It's okay. You can come out of there. Was that their you dad okay? who they shot? You don't mean no harm. Are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? 
No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took off Aza. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. What? This guy's a better guy than we are. There. Tracks. Come on. Careful. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Mm. You think this is the right way? Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. All right, let's go. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. Hmm. I forgot they did that. Yeah, we were just having a good time we fishing, and these dudes came right after us. If you ask me. Wait a second. Just want to look closer here. Uh, Arthur. Wish I had my bow and arrow. Folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. Hey. Mm -hmm. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. <laughs> if it's Careful. John's idea, it must be a good one. Easy. What is it with you and him? Oh. Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. They carry on along this trail. So, yeah, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did. And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Ha! Hmm. Hold it. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne, Vorsicht! Take cover! I see three coming this way. You! Mm. Get the hell away from here! What are we doing? This ain't even our goddamn fight! Yeah. <laughs> 
You're about to get paid in lead. You about to get paid in lead, buddy. <laughs> well, that's done dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Well, what the hell happened to my bow and arrow? Sie sind alle weg. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Anyway, what were you talking about? All right. Come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also yeah. soll ich mitkommen? That's kind of cool. It's like a little, uh, little, some woods action. Whoa, what's this? Can we grab this horse? I mean, yeah, can we? Come on. <laughs> I realized my elf was so bad. Oh my god. All right, restart from the checkpoint. I'm not going to I'm not going to restart the entire mission. It's okay. We're getting you out. I really wanted that other horse. Time to go, boy. Also, soll ich mitkommen? <laughs> oh my god, dude. That is, uh... That is funny right there. Yep. Well, that horse is still there. I was trying to saddle up that horse, man. I guess the horse isn't here anymore. After it murked my ass. Where bring you me? What the hell did you do to those fellas? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. All right, we just gotta go this way. Drop him off with his family. Maybe we'll get some money. Ah, hell. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hector. That was my bad. Okay, fella. Yep. Well, these dudes are pretty far. There they are. Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! 
Beinahe wäre es so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. <lacht> oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir Sie getroffen haben. Oh, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Oh, it was a big ass brick of gold. Yes, it was a pleasure. Yeah. It was all worth it. We got the money, we got the power, and we got the respect. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. No, now we got like a nice little river lake thingy in front of us. It's kind of nice. Lemons print. Oh, not print. Clemens point. I'm an idiot. A few days later. All right. Well, pretty, pretty cool so far. We're getting right back into it. Getting the controls back down. I punched my horse. I randomly shot someone. It was all worth it. Hmm. How you doing, old friend? <coughs> um, it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals arthur we're trying to reform society to a kinder truer better way now of course there's gonna be casualties we're thieves you know the world that don't want us no more we are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts now i'll give you that but come on we got the day it's nice out Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hmm. How's it going? Good as always. I'm trying to eat, bro. Me too. Whatever conversation you're trying to have, make it quick. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would. My days are looking good a long over Dutch. <laughs> Always dreams crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fishing. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Passing you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought. 
Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. But I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Okay, Dutch. no weapons or cause trouble on road. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Gentlemen, well, look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we well, can. Well, well, look who it is. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I, the Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy! Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train! Don't let them get away! All righty, buddy, I got you. We need them Anderson boys. Oh my God, I almost dropped off there. Come on, hurry! All right, come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Damn it! Like the son of a bitch gonna make. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah. You fellas couldn't arrest a blind woman. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I'm out here. Ooh, oh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train's <laughs> slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Keep us close to the train. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, uh, fuck uh, yeah. That's enough. That's enough. Uh, Damn it. Uh, Let's go. Get over there, you Anderson boys. Come on, Anderson boys. Come on, shit bag. Run, don't let them get away. Okay. He wants to fight. Get him. Come on, Mr. Callahan. I'm relying on you. 
Got him, got him. Hello? Is everything all right in there? Well, I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Let's pick him up. Take him in. like quite a commotion is that him i sincerely hope so old anders anderson so what now and take him in come on a fine job well done and a pat on the back for me for stopping the train load anders onto the back of your horse there and we'll take him to sheriff gray there you go you are a natural all right let's take him in follow me what about the others Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. There's a lot of dialogue in this game. I don't mind it. I just find like half the time I'm not talking because they're talking. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're going to stop just ahead on the right outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. Sooner you get him off your horse, sooner we can get him in a sail. Carry him over then. Toe to toe in the middle of the sail. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, I never would have seen it coming. Typical. The way things are going these days. That's where I'm supposed to go, right? Bring him here. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. 
I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. <laughs> These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town's trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses falling out of the rebel goal. Marrying cousins. Jose, <laughs> <laughs> you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here. And it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> now what? Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur. You start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Arthur? You know what? <laughs> Looks like the sure, fishing. Oh, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Place going slow. They got a bank here? <laughs> boys we will have to continue that fishing journey in the very next episode thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did drop a like if you're new make sure to subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss a single upload and if you guys want to support the channel directly then you can do so by checking out my sponsors control freaking aim controller i use them every single time that i play code ogx gets you a discount link down below to that or through my amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way but uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.